Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the frozen north, east of the ruins of Zulan, building a hidden base within an ice cave. This build was suggested by Brony Saiyan on my Temple to Emir build guide, so thank you very much for the suggestion Brony. The cave is right next to my previous Temple of Emir build, and is actually fairly well concealed if you don't know where it is. The cave has a small entrance passage from the top near a lore stone, along with a large cavern entrance at the bottom of the cave into the valleys below. I have somewhat recently built a base hidden inside a cave, and quite enjoyed it, so I've decided to try to create something a bit more interesting and complex inside this cave, suiting it to more of a functional home rather than the previous design I went for which served as more of a part-time base for an explorer. So without further ado, let's get started. Firstly I started off by walling off the large entrance from the valleys below as I wanted this to be more of a back wall of the main room, and I decided to instead build a tower style ladder section to enter the build from the top. However, because this entrance does end up so close to the lore stone atop this glacier, you may not be able to build it as close as I did due to the fact I do have some mods running in the background. If you can't build it, you can easily build a door into the large back wall I created and have the entrance there. I covered the floor of the cave with black ice foundations, using the natural cave walls as the walls of the build. I made sure to close all the visible gaps with walls on the back wall, then moving up to the tower ladder section. I initially was going to build this directly atop the entranceway on the top of the glacier, however I decided to sink it a little bit deeper, keeping it hidden from plain sight. I used a couple of 1x1 one one tower sections to create this entranceway, using ceilings to block off the cave and prevent people from accidentally falling in. Atop each tower I placed a hatch frame, then building ladders down to the next floor, building a small room halfway down the longer tower section which will be a hanging bedroom.
Next, I headed back into the main body of the cave and started to separate the back wall into two rooms, one small room and the other slightly larger, along with placing fences on the perimeter of the raised section. I also built another hanging room above the main body of the cave which will serve as a hanging storage room. Finally, when the shell of the build was done, it was then time to of course furnish. Approaching the lore stone atop the glacier, you can see how the entrance to the build is fairly well concealed, even though it is right under your nose. The tower ladder system works very well for the entranceway. Halfway down the longer tower we can open a door and enter the bedroom. This is a small yet cosy room that feels nicely tucked away from the main body of the cave, whilst also providing a nice atmosphere for the residents. Heading back down the ladder and into the main body of the cave, I've tried my best to keep everything nice and open, to accentuate the natural form of the cave. I've lit the area with radium torches, using blue dye on them to better bring out the icy colours of the cave. On this raised platform is the workshop and kitchen area, where you can find cooking implements along with a few different crafting stations. Heading up the stairs from the raised section we reach the hanging storage room. This room is packed full of chests and is the perfect place to store all variety of goods and resources without cluttering up the rest of the cave. Heading back into the main cave and down into the left side room, we reach the dining room. This is a small, modest dining room with room for four, with the open ceiling adding extra verticality and depth to the visuals of this room. Heading out of the dining room and into the opposite room, this is the lounge designed to be extremely comfortable and relaxing. 
This room is decorated with paintings, statues, and of course the fireplace that serves as the focal point of this room, contrasting nicely against the otherwise cold tones of this entire base. And there we have it, an icy cave base hidden in a glacier just east of the ruins of Zulan. Thanks for watching and thanks again to Brony Saiyan for the build suggestion. If you've enjoyed this video leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos, as usual absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord, both through the links in the description, and if you'd like to support the future of this channel the link to my Patreon is also in the description below with various tiers and rewards including special discord roles, sneak peeks at new videos, your name at the end of videos and more. On that note a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Doomshade and Dawnfox. If you're new here feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel, there are new Conan Exiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.